Now let's see how we can remove the first element from a linked list. So I am going to create a method called as remove first, which should actually remove the first element from a linked list. So basically let's assume that I have a linked list like this. So in this particular linked list, what I need to do is I need to remove the first element. So how can I do this? This can be done very easily. What is that I have to do is now head is always head always points to the first element. Now rather than pointing to the first element, if the head starts pointing to the second element, it means to say that this is the first element. So all that I need to do is start pointing the head to the second element. So if I do this, then definitely this element would have got removed. But there is a problem over here. The problem is if I do this particular thing, then even this particular node is also will be referring to this. The next part of this node also would be referring to this particular thing. That must not happen. Now, how can I ensure that does not happen? What I need to do is once head starts pointing over here, I need to remove this particular thing. Now, basically I need to say this dot next is equal to null is what I have to do. But head, since head is pointing over here, I don't have the reference of this through any other references. So what I need to do is I need to introduce a new reference. Now, how exactly I would do that is first I need to make sure uh, the new reference that I am in, uh, introducing is nothing but current. So current also would start pointing to the same node that is nothing but the first node. So whatever head is pointing to, the current also would start pointing to the same node. How can I write this? Simple, I need to say current is equal to head. Now after that what I need to do is, I need to make sure that the head would start pointing to this. Now how can I say that it points to this? Where do I have this reference if you ask me? In head.next I have the reference. So all I need to say is head is equal to head not next. So what happens? Head will start pointing to this. Now after this what I need to do is very simple. I need to make sure that the current dot next is equal to null. Since current dot next is pointing to the next node, I should disconnect that particular connection or disconnect that particular link. How do I disconnect? I by, by saying current dot next equal to null. So what happens? This node gets completely removed from the link list. So if you do this particular thing, then you are going to remove the first node very clearly. Now what would be your first node is nothing but 20 and the second node will be 30 and the fourth, the third node would be 40. So this is one particular scenario but the same way there are other cases as well. So whatever three lines of code that I have written, this is for such a case when there are more than one elements. Uh, the, what are the other two scenarios is when there is no element. So I would uh, like to mention three different scenarios. The first uh, scenario is when there are zero elements. The second scenario is when there is one element. And the third scenario is when there are more than one element. So whatever we have seen now is when there are more than one element. So in case of zero elements, what exactly happens? Head will be pointing to null. So there is no first node at all. Since there is no first node at all, what I need to do? I just have to, I should not do anything. I should just leave as it. Now, how do I know that there are zero elements? I need to check whether head is pointing to null. So, all that I have to do is I need to write a if condition. So, if head equal to null. If head equal to null, I should not do anything. So, this is the first scenario. So, the second scenario or the second case is very simple when there is one element. Now, how do I know there is one element? If there is one element, what happens is head will be pointing to the first node and the head dot next will be pointing to the null. If head dot next is pointing to null, it means to say there is only one element. So how do I check that? I will write else if and I will say is head dot next equal to equal to null. If it is equal to null, it means to say that there is only one element. So what is that I have to do if there is only one element? I just have to remove that one element. Now how can I remove that one element? Instead of pointing head to this particular thing, directly point head to null. That's all I have to do. So what I need to do? If there is only one element, I will say head equal to now, the other one is when there are more than one elements. So, how do I know that there are more than one elements? So, if head dot uh, next is equal to null, it means there is one element. If head dot next is not equal to null, it means there are more than one elements. So, all I have to do is I need to check if head dot next is not equal to null. If it is not equal to null, the code that we have seen, we have to write. So, this would be the logic to remove the first element. So I hope this logic is completely clear. So uh, let's go and write the code for this particular method. Now let's write the code to actually implement how to remove the first element from the linked list. So let's go and create a method called as remove first. So if I go inside the linked list class, so I already have implemented certain methods. So let's go and implement one more method called as remove first.
So y three minus great. So uh, it should not accept any parameters. I'll open the method, close the method. Let me scroll it up. So over here, all that I have to do is there are three different cases. So what are the three cases? One case is uh, where uh, there are no elements. So how do I know there are no elements? Head will be pointing to none. So what I have to do is I'll check one if condition if head equal to none. Head is equal to equal to none. Great. I'll open, I'll close. Again, there is one more situation. So I'll go to the else if. Else if. I'll check if head is a uh, head dot next equal to none. If head dot next equal to null, it means to say there is only one element. So I'll say if head dot next is equal to equal to null. Great. I'll come and say. Apart from this, there is one more situation. And one more situation is when there are more than one element. So I'll say else if. Else if. Head dot next is not equal to null. Head dot next is not equal to null. Great. I'll open and I'll Great. So over here, I'm not going to do anything, but I would like I would like to keep this as it is. Why I'm keeping this as it is because over here, in case if I remove this particular thing, what exactly happens is if head dot next is not equal to null, it will uh, or if head is directly equal to null. In that particular case, what happens is since if I remove this, it will directly come and check null dot next. So that should not happen. That's the reason I'm keeping this condition. But inside, I won't be writing anything. So I'll remove this particular thing. I, I empty line. Great. And in the else if, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say that head should start pointing to none. So I'll say head equal to none. Head is equal to none. Now after this, what I need to do is, in, in case if there are more than one elements, then I need to introduce a new variable current. So I'll say current is equal to head. So current is nothing but of type node itself. So I'll say current is of type node. Next, I'll go to the next line. And in the next line, what I need to do is head should start pointing to the next node. So how can I get the next node? Very simple, head dot next. If I say or current dot next, I'll get the next node. So I'll say head is equal to head dot next. Head dot next. At the same time, what I need to do is the current node is actually uh, the next part of the current node is already pointing to the next element. Or I can say it's actually pointing to the first element now. Now I need to make sure I remove that link. So for that I have already told you I need to say current dot next equal to null. So I'll say current dot next equal to null. Next equal to null. Great. So this is all I have to do. And if I do this particular thing, it will totally uh, remove the first element from the link list. So let's uh, go to the main method. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to remove this uh, uh, comment, these two lines. And I'll go to the next line. So I'll call the method called as remove first. So I'll say ll dot remove first. So if I do this, what is the elements that I have? 10, 20, 30, 40 in the same order. So it should remove the element 10. So when I print it, I should get only 20, 30, 40. Let's see whether it's happening or not. So what I'll do is I'll just execute this code. And if I execute this code, you can clearly see 20, 30, 40. If I call this twice, the 20 also gets removed. So let me just duplicate this for you. And if I call this, it's removing. Now, if I call it multiple times, it should not give me any exception at all. So let's see whether it's giving any exception or anything. So what I'll do is, I'll call more than four times. So I'll call it multiple times. I'll call one more. One more, one more time. Great. So totally six times I'm calling, but there are only four elements. So let's execute and see whether we get any exception or it works totally fine. So if I execute this particular thing, I am not getting any output. If I just open the console, I am not getting any output. Why I am not getting an output? Because there is no element present, so it's printing nothing. So I hope it's completely clear. And uh, this particular method, that's nothing but whatever we have implemented, that's remove first, is also not giving you any exception because in the if condition, when it is equal to null, we are not doing anything. So I hope it's already clear to you. So in case if you want to print any message when you are removing or like, no elements available, you can print that inside this if condition. But I would not like to print. But if you would like to print, you can put that print statement over here. The, uh, the link list does not contain any elements. So I hope this particular thing is completely clear. If you have enjoyed this video and would not like to miss any of our videos, hit on the subscribe button and click the bell icon.